I'm Ms. Artastic and in this video or tutorial we're going to be drawing this super cute toucan. Yeah, a toucan. Um, so grab something to draw with and something to color with and let's make some art. This episode is brought to you by ArtasticKids.com. If you're a parent, guardian, homeschool family, or a classroom teacher looking for art lessons and resources, begin your journey by finding free art lessons, tips, advice, and more at ArtasticKids.com. All right, what are we doing? We're doing a toucan! Yeah! Oh my gosh, guys, I love toucans. Okay, I love all guards. Now, if you've been following the channel for a while, you'll know that I'm kind of a bird fan. They're just so funny. Yeah. Okay, toucan time. Uh, hello, Kathleen. Grab your toucan stuff. Marker! Okay, grab something to make a mark with. Whatever you want to draw with, that's up to you. My lovely friend, here we go. All right. Curving lines at the top for some fluffy toucan feathers. And we're gonna draw a big curving line down the back. And we're gonna do a little box at the front. Looks like a rooster, doesn't it? Actually, it doesn't wanna look like anything. <laughs> but it will! I promise. Okay, back in. There's a head. Boom. Okay. Two can body. Like that. Okay, we're gonna add some cute little two can toes. One foot. Two feet. Anytime I'm going too fast, just hit that pause button and hit play when you're ready to continue with me. Okay, connect at the bottom. Curving line on the inside of that face. Draw a big circle. It's gonna be for an eye, and in that circle, we're gonna do one big circle and two small circles, and coloring it in, leaving all the little circles. Nice. And white. Next, we're gonna draw a curving line out the back. Curve it around, and connect to make a belly. We'll add some long tail feathers out the back here. Draw two curvy lines up and over to make a wing on either side. And then we're gonna draw two can beaks. We're gonna draw one big long beak out the front. <laughs> Exaggerate it! Make it big! Back up. Right across. We're being super silly with this guy. Sometimes when we exaggerate it, it makes it look funny. And that's why I'm doing it. All right, color in the tip of that beak. Nice and dark. Give it a little nostril so it can smell the beautiful air. Around the eye, we're gonna add a little bit of detail by drawing some finer lines. Add some zigzags. Oh, I guess we're not keeping it in there. Add some zigzags in the white part, actually, because we're gonna color that black and not gonna see it, so. We'll do it in the white there. And maybe on the little feet, we'll put little hearts, because I love toucan. Yeah, so cute. <laughs> All right, go ahead and color in your toucan. You're using your choice of colors. Now I, I'm gonna leave some white edges here and there because, well, one, needs a shine a light here, but also, that way I'm gonna separate these areas that are black on black, so I don't lose my design. It's gonna be like a white outline instead of a black outline. Yeah, that's a good way to do it, isn't it? Okay, boom. Boom, 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 boom. Toucan time. So cute.
One day I want to meet a toucan. That'd be nice. I've never met one. I'm sure they're really nice. Okay, I'm leaving my little white edges here again for the shine of light. So these are purposeful. Now if we're coloring and we leave random white here and there, that's just not being careful, is it? You're rushing through things. But if we're being intentional about it, it's okay. There's a difference, I promise. All right, next, what am I doing? Oh yeah, finishing coloring. That's what I do. I finish coloring a toucan. Yellow around the Once you're done coloring in your toucan, you're super cute. Toucan design is done. Well, that's it for this episode. Please make sure that you subscribe to the channel, Ms. Artastic. And if you create anything and share it online on social media, please, please, I would love to see it. So take me at Ms. Artastic and I will check it out or join the community and conversation and use the hashtag, hashtag Ms. Artastic and I will check it out that way as well. And you can see what other people are creating who create with Ms. Artastic YouTube videos. Well, that's it for this episode, and I will see you in the next.